Welcome back to Mountain Connections. We are so excited to tell you more about these gorgeous sculptures that we have. I'm excited to sit down with Carl Lansing. Carl, thank you so much for being here this morning and mm -hmm. thank you for being on our show. You bet, thank you for having me. We are so excited. You brought so many amazing pieces that I would love to dive into. But first, I would love for you to introduce yourself and tell us your story. Sure, all right. Um, well, like she said, my name's Carl Lansing. I'm a uh, Canadian artist. I came down from British Columbia uh, to do a show here in the gallery. I've been showing in Park City now for a number of years. Um, I started doing sculpture about 30 years ago and uh, it started out, actually I started out as a carver and carving, you create a sculpture and carving, it's a one of one and doing sculpture in bronze, I can do additions and so um, it allows me to create something, spend a little more time on the sculpture, but then by doing additions I can have multiples and that allows me to show multiple galleries at the same time. Um, I, uh, I actually started taxidermy way back when I was 12 years old and taxidermy is a really nice format to teach an individual the anatomy of wildlife and uh, so having started at such a young age, by the time I got into my 30s, I had a pretty good understanding of wildlife and, and their anatomy. And, and uh, from that, it was easy for me to get into sculpting them into the sculptures that I do today. And they're beautiful, I will add. They are incredible sculptures. The attention to detail, really, these pieces are phenomenal. We're so excited to have you here. We're so lucky that you come to Park City. You bet, you bet. I, uh, one of the things that I try and strive for in my sculpture is realism. Um, detail is, is part of it, anatomy is part of it, but trying to create a piece of art that moves the individual when they look at it to say, why does that look real? And for me, that's the ultimate compliment. If, um, if I do a sculpture and, and someone looks at it and goes, boy, that's beautiful. To me, I feel like maybe I missed something. I want my piece to move the individual to say, that looks real and uh, it's, a, it's a great compliment because when you take an animal that is the size of a horse and shrink it down into the size that I do and still make a person feel that it looks real, you realize that um, you must have done something right. Definitely. Well, I definitely think you have achieved that. I mean, these are phenomenal and really, again, like the attention to detail here with like the fish in its mouth. Again, it's so realistic. This is something that you would see in, you know, just nature day to day. So I love that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and for you guys who live up here in Park City, you've got elk running all over the place up here. And so come in and have a look at, at the sculptures that I've created. I've got other sculptures of elk in the gallery and um, having seen them, you'll see that these look pretty close to the thing that you see out in the, in the wild. Very cool. I love it. I love all of these pieces. Um, I'd love for you to just kind of tell me a little bit about each one. Okay, sure. Well, this one here is actually um, kind of patterned off of the Alaska brown bear. And of course, probably the most popular, or most often seen photos or videos of bears are bears fishing, fishing in the rivers when the salmon are running. And uh, so this was the idea of this piece here. And um, I changed it up a little bit rather than put a red salmon. You always see this, the sculpture or the painting, it always seems to be a red fish. Like, and we all know that salmon turn red. But in this one, I actually uh, colored the fish like a trout because f the bears aren't selective. They'll, they'll eat whatever fish they can grab. And so I just wanted to show that that one was not necessarily the bright red salmon that we see in all the other pieces. And we call this piece the catch of the day. I love it. And so uh, now this piece, this is a new piece for me. And actually this is a sculpture of a bull moose that is part of a larger piece. And we have the larger piece in the gallery. In the larger piece, there's the bull, then there's the cow, the, and then with the cow has a little calf. And um, the little calf is a little young bull. He's just got little short horns. And I titled the piece, I Wanna Be Just Like You, Dad. And uh, the idea is that he's looking up at this big bull and, and uh, so, but then I took that bull off and made an individual sculpture out of him as well. And uh, so, and now this piece, this was actually a commissioned piece that um, a gal wanted done for the center of her coffee table. 
dining room table. Uh, she says they live on a ranch up in Alberta, Canada, and um, they say she says they always have a herd of elk that come through their place, and so she wanted something where a bulls with the cows because she says that's what they see all the time. And so I titled this piece "My Three Ladies," I and love that. Uh, big old bull following along behind the cows as they move off into the, I guess, forest. You'd say so. So cool. Yeah. I really, I love hearing the inspiration behind artists because there's so much passion and I always love to hear those stories. So thank you so much for sharing that with you us. Bet. Thank you. Where can we go to maybe see these pieces? Are they available to shop? Do you do custom work? I'd love to hear kind of that side of what you Sure. Do. Okay. Well, um, like we say, we're going to be up the Park City Fine Arts today. Uh, at f I think five o'clock this evening, I will um, have a meet and greet type from five till eight in the gallery. So. Uh, you know, if you're available, come on down and, and meet me and see. I've got other works in the gallery, uh, other pieces, so you can come in and see those. Um, I also show in other galleries here in the United States. I have a couple of galleries that also show my work up in Canada. Um, we do a number of different shows around the country, um, traveling from show to show as a uh, uh, artist that you know, you, you kind of got to get out in the public eye and introduce yourself and that sort of thing. Uh, I also have a website where you can go in, and on my website, I have over a hundred different sculptures from little itty bitty ones right up to two times life size, you know, big monumental pieces. And so um, it's hard to travel around the country with all them. So what I do is, uh, you know, often tell people, check out my website. Because my website, you can see all my works and all the different sizes and pieces that are available. So. And what is your website? Uh, CarlLansing.com Carl and it, yeah, it's pretty simple and um, it's a pretty good website. My, my wife, she kind of manages it for me so as I create new pieces she puts them on there. Uh, she also keeps up to date any of the changes that go when I sell out pieces of pieces that become sold out and that sort of thing so yeah. Very cool. Well, we mm -hmm. love this. We appreciate you being here. We love that you get to share your talent with us. We love that you get to advertise that you'll be Local tonight that people can stop by your gallery and sure. come and see. What were the times for that again tonight? Uh, this evening at five till eight, I believe I'll be in the gallery, and yeah, and um, should be great. If you know, I know that the gallery in the past few years have sold a number of pieces to the community here, people here live in the community that haven't had a chance to meet me. So if they can get a, you know, get away or you know, come down, I know it's Valentine's Day, and <laughs> it's so it's a great date night idea. It's a great night. You probably have dinner and then come on over to the gallery and, you know, maybe they'll have a little bit of wine and, you know, so, yeah. Perfect. Sounds like a great night out. Right. Carl, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you bringing your pieces in. You bet. Thank you. All right, you guys, we have much more coming up on Mountain Connections. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the break.